The sole purpose of the Cognit software is not only to calculate which gas components are present in the sample gas, it's so much more. It's actually the interface for the user to configure how the whole SEMS2E system is functioning. Like for example, which gas component measurement results are written in which analog output channel in the I.O., what is the measuring range, alarm limits, etc. What signals are causing a system error and which signals are causing a service request. You are able to determine when the system is making the background measurement, when the spanned and zero gases are being fed to the analyzer to check the measurement accuracy, how long is the flush time, and, and, and. But don't worry, all these initial parameters are set to the system during the commissioning activities by the local gasmet service specialist. There are two alarm relays in the system, a system alarm and service request. When either of them appears, you need to come to the cabinet and check what is causing the alarm. In the bottom left corner on the screen, there are icons for both of them. The icon will change the color when it's active and by clicking the icon, a window will open explaining in clear text the reason for the alarm. If the service request is active, the system is still measuring, but you need to make an action to resolve the problem. For example, if the service request is caused by a sample flow alarm, you need to stop the continuous measurement mode and then go up to the stack and check the filter there. Change it if necessary. And remember also to check this second filter in a, in a sampling system and ex exchange it if necessary. After that, you may go back to the continuous measurement mode. In case the system error has been activated, that means something more serious has happened. In that case, the system will automatically stop the sample pump and flush the sample lines with uh, instrument air. You cannot continue the measurement before the problem is resolved and if the manual does not help you, you may always generate support package file in a desktop. Copy it in a USB drive and then send the file per email to the local GASMET partner for investigation. But let me assure you, this does not happen very often. We have recently got results from a customer survey and they all were very happy for the SEMS2 reliability. Now it's time to thank you for your time and interest towards our products. If you have any further questions, please contact us or our local representative. Thank you and take care.